Hi, YouTubers. This is Bill. This is my first video. I thought it was time that I start to pay back all of the great videos I've watched and have helped me through all of my car repairs. Uh, this is one I was getting the uh, Stabila track and the ABS traction control light on my Tahoe. I uh, went out there and I searched all the good videos on YouTube and basically there were uh, three possible causes. One was uh, maybe a bad ground. I tried that. That didn't fix it. Another one was the brake light um, switch. I tried that. That didn't fix it. Came down to the um, steering angle sensor. So uh, there were a couple really good videos on that. And this is for a 2007 um, or yeah, 2007 Chevy Tahoe. Um, so I decided to dig into it and I looked at the videos. I studied them really good and figured it was a job that I could do. And uh, I went out on Amazon and um, I bought this part. Um, I should have followed what uh, all the write-ins said. The write-ins said that the part from Amazon was garbage, that it didn't fit, and uh, that it was a disaster. There were like 40 write-ins on that. And um, um, sure enough, I get the part from Amazon. It took two days to get here. It was a standard SWS24. And uh, sure enough, I, uh, I, I get that steering column all taken apart, which is not a fun job. Going down to put the, uh, the sensor in, and it doesn't fit. And why doesn't it fit? It's this tang here. This tang is off by about 10 or 15 degrees to what the OEM is. This is the switch or the sensor that came out of my, my uh, Tahoe. You can see the tang. It's about 15 degrees off. This part will not work. So I had to leave the job for the night unfinished. So I wanted to really get it done. Couldn't wait around. So I went to a, a Chevy dealer the next day. I went to go buy the part. You can see I have the part number. Should have been a slam dunk for me to, uh, to get it from my local Chevy dealer. Go to the Chevy dealer. They say the part has been discontinued. And so have the two um, supersede parts. And so they can't get me a part. They said I'm, uh, I'm SOL. Um, so I asked the dealer, I said, what would if, if I brought this in to get fixed by you, what would you do? He said, well, we would buy an aftermarket part. So on the same road as the Chevy dealer are four, uh, four car parts stores. So I start to work my way backwards, and the first one I hit is an advanced auto. Go in, give him all my numbers. What does he come out with? He comes out with the standard SWS24, just like Amazon, wrong tang. I tell the guy it won't work. He insists it will. I say it won't. I show him my Chevy part. So I leave there, I go to AutoZone, same thing. Comes out with a standard, wrong part. His computer says that's it. Uh, and they didn't carry anything, uh, AC Delco or, uh, or anything like that. So my next stop was uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Going to O'Reilly, what's he come out with? He comes out with the standard again. So I explained to the guy, this part won't work, it's the wrong part. So it was only this guy's second day on the job, so he's a little bit nervous about sending me away, so he calls his manager over. His manager comes over, and his manager says, hey, I seem to remember something about this. Let me call a friend of mine at another store. So he calls another O'Reilly with a guy who had about 15 years' experience, and the guy told him that there's a, the, the Chevy part, the AC Delco part for the 2014 on, which is basically this same sensor but an 8-pin the 2007 is a six pin. I think it was a six pin all the way up to 2012. 2014, it was an eight pin. He says it will work on the 2007. Even though the GM database didn't give any cross-reference that it will, he insisted that it would. And uh, I says, well, do you, would, would you, uh, re, you know, give me my money back if it doesn't work? He said, yes, that's how confident we are. I'm like, okay. So I bought the part and um this is the part here. It's a part number 19418403, AC Delco. And uh, it does work. So I went back, put it on my uh, my Tahoe, and it works. So while I'm, while I'm talking about this, I just want to, this can't be more important that you do this spring. This pin here is a, a zero, zero gauge pin for the, uh, the sensor that has to stay in until it's locked in place. You pull up for that, it's like a hand grenade pin. The, the, the part's basically no good. You'll have to go to Chevy and get it all recalibrated. Uh, so this this has to stay in to the point that the it is locked in place, then you can pull it out. Um, but having said that, I get the the, uh, the part in, and all of the videos, oh, and I turn my uh, my Tahoe on, and I'm still getting the, the, the lights. So I'm thinking, oh my God, I... Uh, uh, 
something's wrong here. The guy gave me the wrong part. So then I go out and uh, I can't find anything on how to zero this. So I talk to a fella I know, and he says, basically, you, uh, you, you have to disconnect your battery for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And he says, and then put your battery back on and then turn your key to the on position. And he says, wrestle your wheel all the way to the right. Hold it for five seconds. Wrestle your wheel all the way to the left. Hold it for five seconds. Come back to the center. Turn the key off. And then turn your vehicle on, and you should clear the code. And sure enough, it did clear it. So I've probably got uh, a couple hundred miles on it since uh, doing that, and my, uh, my sensor has stayed off. So you're not going to find this. I've searched YouTube high and low. No one is going to talk about this part. In fact, one of the videos, the guy has the wrong part, and he, uh, he did the, the video over like seven, um, seven videos, and uh, he, he gets to the point where he can't get the part on, and the video stops, and he goes to the next video and he's got a GM part and, and he never explained why, but that this is the reason why. AutoZone, Advanced Auto, O'Reilly, all of them are gonna try to sell you this part and it is wrong. You've got to get the AC Delco, again, 1941803, and you'll be off to the races fixed. Hope this helps everyone. Thanks for listening, bye.